This first demonstration goes by the name Ground Bot Mod to the Point Ton Do. However, just like many other things in dance, it goes by multiple names. It can also be called Ground Bot Mod Jete Pique. It can be called Ground Bot Mod Jete Pointe. Grand bat ma pointe a terre, and it can also go by grand bat ma bene pique. So, again, we don't want to be confusing, it's just depending on the method of ballet of what you're practicing, you may hear it go by different names. The movement does not change. When executing grand bat ma to the point tendu, you are going to the tendu, and when you go to close the ground bot mod, you're going to end here. You're not going to close first or fifth. You're going to just rise and lower, right back to that tendu. You do not close until the very end. And again, this can go on cloth, Our other options would be, as we previously discussed, closing in first. Now, many of the videos that I demonstrated, I purposely show first positions because it's easier on our hips. When you're first learning how to dance, first position is a lot more neutral. You're not as inclined to wrench. And my dancers know that I am a strong advocate for training your hips hips and your alignment and strengthening within the realm of your body's natural abilities. And from there, if we can get a stronger turnout, great. But I don't want to see my dancers forcing it. So first position is often the close that we use, especially when we're working our ground bot mods and your leg is really working now. We want to make sure that it's safely closing. We need to have a good sense of where our heels connect for when we get out centered. So first position is a good home base. Our next option for closing would be our fifth. In which case, you can either have your heel all the way to the tip of your toe, or it would be at the base of the knuckle of your big toe. Both are correct. It depends on the instructor, what they would prefer, and it is pending what method of ballet you're studying. I'm not going to go into all of those logistics today. Just know that there are different ways to do this. <laughs> now fifth position has a new challenge, in which case you need to make sure that you're using that turnout evenly between both legs, really pulling up out of those hips and controlling your moves and making sure that that leg is crossed and it goes through that degage down to the tendu into that close, working all those five foot positions again and making sure that you hit whichever fifth you are closing in. This becomes difficult, so we aren't landing in third or out a little, but we'll go into challenges later in the week. So again, you either have the option to close fifth, you can close first, or you can close to the point tendu. Again, these are just some of the options of what we can do with our ground bot mods. There are a lot more, <laughs> but this at least gives you a little bit of an idea of what to expect for some closing options. Be sure to check back tomorrow as we talk about how to incorporate a fondue with our ground bot mods and make that nice and clean. I will see you tomorrow.